What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Gym Leader Geo, and this is episode 41 of our blind Pokemon Sun and Moon Let's Play. We are back after a several day hiatus while I was uh, at work and preparing for some things this next coming weekend. Um, for those of you that don't know, I've talked about it a little bit in the past, but um, I'm a nurse and I work every other weekend. So just work this weekend, have next weekend off. So uh, we are now, whew, what did we do in the last episode? We went to the ruins of faith or hope or something like that. And now we are in the vast Pony Canyon after just uh, being heralded by Plumeria. So now we got Hapu here with Lily and their uh, Mudsdale. Did everything go well, she says. Ooh. Yes, it did. Though Geo had to help me out of all sorts of trouble, like usual. Nothing wrong with that. People cannot survive all on their own. You gotta help one another out. Same for Pokemon, too. That's what my grandfather used to say. Your grandfather sounds like a good man, Hapu. I would like to see this battling skills of yours, Geo. That makes Lily smile so. Man, I swear, I'm gonna get married at the end of this, this game. To Lily or something. I may be young, but that does not mean I cannot be outdone by any of those other kahunas. I am certain that my bonds with Mudsdale and the rest of my team are the closest you will find anywhere in Alola. Do you want to battle us at our full strength? Only if you'll take on mine. Sometimes, sometimes in game Geo, he's got a little bit of a he's got a little bit of an attitude, and then other times he's like sassy, and then other times he's witty, and then other times he's like dastardly. Like just now, he's just like if you willing to take on my power so we got uh locks of fury right here mr doug trio steel type will hit me neutral um but i think i'll just co oh co him with sparkling aria all obviously he's gonna set up that sandstorm so if any of his if any of his mon have sand rush or sand force that's gonna be a uh a powerful setup, but Doug Trio does. Doug Trio is so weak defensively that he just goes down easily, easily. Galissapod getting that ding. Wants to learn Iron Defense. A lot of Pokemon in this game learn Iron Defense. It's kind of curious. I want, wait, hold on. I want to see if you guys can hear this. I don't know if that picks up on the on the thing, but that was really loud inside my own inside my own head. Uh, she's gonna set up Mudsdale, obviously against a Ground type. Um, Kahuna water type would just annihilate everything, but let's go into Decidueye. Decidueye's had a difficult time being relevant on my team. Every time I try and get him to do something, he seems to not step up. Whereas Primarina is uh, wrecking face and taking names, and Incineroar also pretty much soloed the entire Poe Town. So maybe we can get some work done with it. Can't even, with a crit, can't even take out the Mudsdale. Ooh, but I'll, luckily I will resist this. So it was a good switch for me to handle the full force of a ground type. But this is going to look cool, I think. Oh my god, we're falling into the depths of the planet. <laughs> he gets a crit. I get damaged by the uh, by the sandstorm. Uh, I'm gonna roost here. She's gonna use a hyper potion. She's actually got a uh, a defense raise there, so it's not gonna take me several hits to to take out this this Mudsdale. However. Uh, being able to get my, my health back up with Decidueye will mean he's not going to be able to do half. Well, now I'm going to be at full. He's not going to be able to two-hit KO me with a ground-type move. We'll see what kind of coverage he has. Uh, it looks like he's just got Earthquake. Compared to the last move, which was a crit on what I can only imagine was like a 150 power Z move. Looks like we'll be able to take another one of those. Dish off an attack. Turn it back around. And get another... Get another Roost off. So it's going to be Attack Roost, it looks like, is the way to take out this Mudsdale. Although, I'm going to keep Stamina boosting him. 
But this is kind of emphasizing my point. Decidueye is having a difficult time taking on a Pokemon that it's supposed to be resistant to. Like, I'm supposed to defeat ground types as a grass type, but... I don't know. Decidueye's... You know what I mean? Like, n never have I encountered that issue with either of my other two Pokemon. He's actually got Heavy Slam, so... Um, Roost Spam's probably not going to cut it for me anymore. Especially since his... He's only at half health and he's got two defense raises, so... Going for the crit there. Would have taken him out if I got it. Did not get it. He goes for Earthquake. And that'll take me out. I think I was taking in the realm of 30 to 40 damage, so... Decidueye goes down, loses to a Grass type. No, to a Ground type. Again, so... I don't love that Pokemon. Not gonna lie. Uh, let's get Galissapod in here. So many different uh, priority moves. Let's see if Galissapod... 12 levels inferior oh no with so many defense raises yeah this is not going to work out but we'll go for the uh super effective aqua jet here oh my god that does so little damage uh but i should resist this right bug resist ground i think it does yeah it does it does, it does, it does. Uh, first impression maybe would have been a better move, but this is still stab. It's still super effective. And it does take him out. So Glizzabot is able to clean up here. And uh, ding a couple. Incineroar. Let's see if he can defeat a Flygon against all odds, shall we? No, let's not do that. Man, Decidueye, just such a letdown, honestly. Really was a letdown. Uh, Lil P is primed to take this on. Uh, resist the dragon stab. Neutral to the ground stab. Uh, can hit super effective with the, with the moon blast. Mega Flygon would be a cool Mega. It's too bad they're not really... Well, you know what? I think it's a good thing they're not playing the Mega game. They went a different route here so that they didn't over-saturate the game with Megas to the point that they're not even special anymore. And that they keep messing with the curve. That's one thing I'm really concerned about, messing with the power curve in this game. I really don't want them to do that too much. Uh, we got a Gastrodon here. Would have been great to keep Decidueye around. But uh, we, we, uh, we, didn't, we didn't do that. <laughs> didn't do that. Probably her only hyper potion she was going to use this game, she already used. So I should be able to take this out with two moon blasts, is my assumption. Yeah, two will do it. And that mud... Whoa. Unless I miss. Ah, mud bomb didn't get the... Didn't get the accuracy drop. Second moon blast. Will take out the Gastrodon. Two kills for Primarina. One for Galissapod. Wait, three kills for Primarina. And one for Galissapod. <laughs> Decidueye did nerthen. Nerthen that game. What? <gasps> Ga nah! Guys! Fuck it, dude! Yes! Yes, so this is all I needed. I just need to be in Pony Canyon. Or the vast Pony Canyon. The vast Pony... Wa wherever. Pony. Oh my god. I mean, I already know it's, it's going to be a Vika Volt, but oh my god, I cannot believe how long I had to wait for this. This is such a bait, guys. Like, it took me this... Maybe there's something I'm missing here. Maybe it's like at night or like near a tree. I don't know, but oh my god, I'm so happy. Look at this thing. Yes! We know because we faced one already. Its, uh, it's ability is now... Uh, levitate, which is amazing. Levitating electric types, absolutely amazing. Oh my god, I'm so happy. I like, I'm happy, but like, I know you'd think I'd be like, like, bright face, but I'm just relieved. This thing is like level 50 something now, and I hadn't even evolved it. I've just been waiting. Ah, oh, yes, 411, same height as my girlfriend. 99 pounds, weighs more than my girlfriend. <laughs> It produces electricity via an electric organ in its abdomen. It overwhelms bird Pokemon with the shocking beams of electrical energy. Yes. Finally, a bug that can stand up to burbs. 
What do we got? Thunderbolt? Mm, you are not a special attacker, I don't think. I mean, to be fair, it's like that evolution from Dewblade to Dublade, Dewblade to uh, Aegis Slash. You're thinking this whole time you're leveling up, you get to Dublade, crazy high defense, crazy high attack, and you're like, oh my god, I can only imagine what his evolved form is, and it's garbage attack, garbage special attack, crazy high defenses that high sh she, uh, attack form where its offenses are the same. So I'm assuming that's not happening here. But one thing I am curious about, because Charger Bug was pretty defensive for its time, pretty high defense stats. So I'm wondering if, I'm wondering what changed. Uh, I'm gonna keep the old moves. We can always go to, I'm assuming there's a move remember in this game. I don't think in this playthrough we've bumped into him yet, but him or her, I don't know. Ladies remember things very well. And at least the women in my life do, so. Oh, oh, you sure showed me, she says. That was enjoyable. Yeah, you beat, literally beat my grass type with a ground type. Looks like I cannot beat you, even when I am not holding back. I appreciate this chance, Geo. It has really taught me a few things. Take this ground type Z crystal then. Ooh, what's the dance? I think it's going to be something about the ground. So it's going to be like, ooh, ooh, ooh. Like, kind of like a shimmy, but like down. Like, it's about like pushing down on the ground. So there's going to be some kind of hand motion pushing down. What do you guys think? What's the hand motion? Whew. Or like, bah, like stomp, like fists of fury on the ground, right? What do you guys think? Uh, that's, a, that's how I'm seeing it, at least. I will teach you pose. So eyes up here. <gasps> Where was in-game Geo looking? Hapu's just a child. What were you looking at? Uh, excuse me. My eyes are up here. Eyes up. Yeah. Okay, so she like, like Batman punches the ground. In like a real deep side lunge. Yeah. Get him. <laughs> Phew. Well, I must applaud you, Lily. You sure found a <laughs> a prodigious. It's like prodigal, right? How do I even pronounce this? Pro prodigious, prodigious. It's got to be prodigious. Prodigious trainer to befriend. Why are you congratulating Lily? Like, everyone's talking about me in the third person. Like, hey, that Geo sure is great. Yeah, I'm right. Guys, eyes up here, right? Then go on with you two. Head straight through there and find the altar. The path to the shrine is through the canyon. They will find other trainers in this place, though. They come for training. It will be a tough road. I am worried that this is going to be a long episode. Because this is called the Vast Pony Canyon. I I just, I get this, I have this hunch that maybe they would have called it like the Narrow Canyon if it was short. Or the Vast Pony Canyon is a real beast of a place, but you gotta get through it. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Climb. I thought I was gonna have to cut it. Like there was gonna be another rider or uh, ride pager that, that's cut. Because so far a lot of these ride pagers have been pretty similar to HMs. You, know, you got Surf, you got Fly, Strength. I wonder what we will find ahead. Oh, here, Geo, take this. Max Potion? Max Revive, I was close. My friend's always getting these, like, crazy healing things. He's gonna catch something, something about the mother of Nebby, but let me make sure that Primarina and the rest of the team are ready for battle, so they're gonna heal me up after that battle with Hapu. Being together with your favorite Pokemon is even better when they're all feeling their best. Probably right. Okay, big boy, not too tuckered out. Don't give up yet. We can do this immediately trainer battle. Uh, because this is going to be a long run, I'm going to be cutting these pretty quickly. So in the past, I would like wait until they threw out the Pokeball and then get them at the very end, try and get their chat. But if there's nothing interesting in any of these Pokemon battles, from now on, I'm going to be cutting them super early just to get this episode going. If there's something interesting, you guys know I will always keep it in. But if there isn't, I'm really going to be trying to rush through this a little bit for all of our sakes. That's going to be my goal here today. Guys, I checked out Vikavolt's stats while I was uh, in that last battle. And guess what? It is just as I said... Special attack through the roof. Really low attack, actually. So, 
<laughs> After all that, dropping the uh, learning of Thunderbolt was probably a huge mistake because that was the right move for it to learn. So, good for me. The other thing about it that's kind of surprising is that Vigavolt is, like, really slow. I, I thought for sure, you know, it's like a, it's like flying, it's a bug. I thought it was going to be like, really quick. I'm doing my best to try and avoid battles here. Though I will say this much, it's relatively difficult to do. In this case, I wanted to fight it. It's a double battle, so I didn't want to skip this one, but... Most of the other ones. Oh, cool. Guys, it's both of the Alolan evolutionary forms. Look how cool they look. Look how cool they look. Sand Slash looks like a monster. Oh my god, I love it. I'm just going to Sparkling Aria and destroy my own Decidueye. Yeah, the Alolan Sand Slash and, and Ninetales look really, really cool. I, I like that a lot. Uh, just kind of powering through here. We see a rock on the other side there. That's going to be like probably a shortcut to quickly get through here once we get to the out to the other side. Because we can only access it from the back end. But this has been a pretty linear pathway so far. Um... This is looking like... Is this a side path or the way we're supposed to go? I don't want to go the way we're supposed to go when there's two paths. Because that is exactly how we miss out on secret things. So what is over here? We got a little grassy area. So it could be new Pokemon. Could be things we've seen before. Is it a Torkoal? We've seen a Torkoal before. Ah! It's a new thing! It's a new thing! It's a new thing! Yes! What are you? What are you? What are you? Jangmo-o. Jangmo-o. Ah! <laughs> look at him! I need to look at his stupid little face a little bit. What are you? Jangmo-o. In um, Tagalog, which is the language of the Philippines, two letters back to back, you don't even need to put the hyphen between them. They would pronounce it o, -o. But I suppose in trying to keep... Pacific Islander style language from being he, like he might have been called Jang Mu if they didn't put the hyphen in there because people don't know the language heritage that it's coming from. So, but it's Jang Mo O. Jang Mo O. Show me his face. Ah, is he a dragon? Well, I can't hit him. I can't attack him full power. I'll, I'll kill him. So or her. So let's send in Decidueye and hope that he's not even mildly strong. Otherwise, Decidueye will get. Decidueyfeated, defeated. It is a dragon. It is a, or may, at least he learns Dragon Claw. We don't know he's a dragon, definitively. But uh, let's hit him with that false swipe. Oh God! With the Iron Defense. Oh, ugh. Uh. Uh, let's see. His his defense is doubled. Leaf Blade is 90 power stab, so uh, 135 power versus False Swipe is 40. I hit for that much when it was 40. 135, cut in half. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm just going to be safe. I don't want to risk critting with that and taking out Jang Mo. I'll just take these Dragon Claws as they come in. Oh, calling for help. Yes. Ah! Guys, look! It's the evolution of it! It's the evolution of it! Ah! I get to see both of them in one battle! hakamo Oh, Oh my god, yes! Can I just hit it with a leaf blade? Will that kill it? I'm gonna hit it with a spirit shackle, actually. That should be even more powerful. Because it's not resisted, but it shouldn't kill it. And it can no longer escape. It's going to hit me with that Iron D. 
fence. Defense, guys. God, dirty mines. So I guess it makes more sense to catch the evolved form. Um, since we can always breed the bebe form. Or just catch another one. Oh god, so defensive. Ah, my defense! No! <laughs> no! Ouch. You know what I should do? Uh, bring Hakamo oh, down as weak as I can while I still can. Ooh. More defense. Because this is my only uh, false swiper. So let's get him down to 1 HP now. And then I'll die. We catch Hakamo O! Ah! Ah! Where's Mr. Phone? Oh my god. That's such a cool looking Pokemon. It's a dragon? It's got like some gold markings on it. Could it be electric type also? Ooh! That's a middle form. There's three evolutions of it. All right. It's dragon fighting. That is such cool typing. That is such cool typing. I am so pumped to use this. Uh, yeah, we're going to give it a nickname. I'm going to name this Biggie Mac. Over Makati. Biggie Mac Cotty. He's not that big, though. But let's do it anyway. Biggie Mac. Bump. This is a shout out to my good buddy Makati. Also on YouTube. Check out his channel. Uh, we're going to add him to the party. Her. It's a her. This is a female Pokemon. Uh, and who are we going to drop? Galissapod's fully evolved. And while it's a cool Pokemon, I don't need another... I've already got a bug, and I've already got a water type. And while it's great type, dual, dual typing, I don't really want it right now, because I want to evolve Hakomo-o, and see what he becomes in the scheme of things. Got an item right here. We're going to continue to lay off the repels until we've determined that there's nothing else uh, rare or unseen before out in these dusky wilds. But don't worry, as I said before, I knew it. I was actually hoping this would go farther and it would be like a TM or something around the corner, but too conspicuous game, I see right through you. And we got a Zygarde cell thing up here. And we need to get a, a mud bray to go through those rocky wilds. I feel like they want me to go that way. Inside the cave though, all we've seen is gold bats. I feel like this is gonna be Diglets and gold bats. Doug Trios and gold bats, same difference. I might actually catch this. No, I already have one. Seriously, fighting dragon. I like can't get over. I love that dual type combo. That is just so incredible. Stomp, stomp. Wait, really? Why did I get on Mudbray just to go <laughs> when the down pa Is it just to avoid the trainer, which I intentionally battled anyway? Like I had an Archeops and a Rampardos. And we are back out the door here. Two different directions to go. Got a little hole that we can climb through. Maybe a TM in here or something rare. What you got for us, little dog? Sniff that. Well, I can't go across that without my good old friend Mudbri. Mudsdale. Carbink. We already have a Carbink, so. So right after the car bank, we battled this veteran. She had a talon flame, and um, oh, I forget already. I already forget the other two Pokemon. Uh, nothing too, too interesting though. Okay, another car bank down. Got a trainer over here. Another fun fact about Decidueye. Um, Weavile is a Pokemon for whom there aren't all that many defensive 
checks. Uh, it's got very good offensive typing. Yes, here we go. A TM. Dazzling Gleam. That's a competitively viable one. So, both of the other new starters are actually resistant to its dual stab. Uh, fire and Dark resists Ice and Dark. And Water and Fairy resists uh, Dark and Ice. So, very great typings to take that on. And then Decidueye is just like, nope, weak to both. Which, I mean, obviously, it has its strengths also. But in general, Grass is just not as effective. So there's Lily. This canyon path is difficult to walk. It's nothing you can't make Vest Pony Canyon seem like nothing at all, Geo. Man. Lily just gotta stop. She is like on me. She is hounding me. Everything I do, she's just like, you're so great. Uh, you're so funny, smart, and great. <laughs> I've overcome my fears enough to cross even a high bridge like this one. Oh no. Is the bridge gonna get break down and broken down again? She's not afraid of heights anymore. She'll be able to take on that bridge on the Mahalo Trail. Watch this. This is my trial. She's doing a Z move. Oh yeah, it's her Z form. That's why. Is this just crazy foreshadowing? Aha! A murder of Murkrows. Really? Is that Mirko really going to not let her pass? Wow. Power through. Yes. Oh. That's pretty cool, Lily. I got to say, that's pretty cool. Geo, I did it. I made it all the way across. I've cleared my trial. Very good. Geo just chats with them. What's up? Amazing, right, Geo? <laughs> it was all right. <laughs> Whoa, did you guys see something in the background? Damn it. I kind of missed it. Primarina, do you want to rest too? Well, I'll take a rest. Yeah. Heal up my mons. Why not? Did anyone see? I'm about to revive. Uh, revive. I'm about to rewind this and have a look at what I saw in the back right there. Lily sure is the best too, isn't she? She's on fire and looks totally cool to me. Hey, it's not about looks, okay, Rotom? It's not about looks all the time. Uh, I'm actually gonna... I'm gonna pop a little repel here. I'm starting to feel a little... overrun by... by everything. We got a lot of new items. Let's organize by name. And we're going to the R. I'm gonna use it. I'm out of super repels. So we gotta do it the old fashioned way with them sick hundos, hundo steps. Got a strange creature. We got some things there. I guess I could check out what these dust clouds are. They're probably just diglets. Come on! Yep, got you. Got him. Probably a diglet. Doug Trio. Doug Trio. Ooh, an item on the ground. What is this? Soft sand. Who cares? Let's keep it moving. Yeah, let's call Machamp out here. Carry me, Machamp. I, oh, no, stop, Machamp. Stupid. I wasn't... I didn't do the math beforehand. I... Uh. So, this one was supposed to go down... Or, yeah, down first, and then cut across. Ah, oh, God, so stupid. All right. Oh, my champ can actually run faster, too. That's kind of cool. So he's not completely useless. Like, see, the problem... There's never a reason to ride Mudsdale, except if you're a cur walking over rocky terrain, because he's so slow otherwise. Can I? Yeah, I don't think I can get behind and around it. But this one should be able to walk around that block underneath me. Grab this full restore. Yeah, there we go. And push the other one up and over. 
Is this the, uh, that's the way to go, it looks like. So, there's probably just an item tucked in this top right corner over here. Or a ladder? Okay, which way do we go? Oh, this is just a trainer. No, it's a trainer and an exit. Ah! There's two different... Ooh, Professor Birch! Which one was Professor Birch the professor of? I for the names kind of run together. It was one of the older generations. I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comment section down below. I don't really want to look it up. I'm not going to Magnazone go down. I'm going to have a look outside here. See if I can get a view of what's going on. Looks like more trainers and a bridge. So probably this is the way to go. And downstairs was a side area just for an item. So that trainer's down. I'm just going to peek at the bridge. Oh boy, I shouldn't have peeked. I should have gone back first. Who is this person? Nice little ring. Four-leaf clover. Kind of like a hipster. No, not hipster. Hippie. Oh, now that's a great composition. I could paint a picture of you, the visitor to Pony. Guess I didn't introduce myself. I'm Mina. I'm the captain. I mean, I sort of am. I actually just wander around doing my art. So I don't have an actual trial or anything, but Vast Pony Canyon sure is a wonder, huh? Once you've been through this place, you can really get to understand why that Elima boy designed his trial the way he did, right? Oh yeah, ooh yeah, here, take this as a token of our acquaintance, man. Ooh, a ferium. Alright, I'll take that. It's ferium, get your Z on. Okay, alright, stop guys, time to practice. Okay, what's the ferium thing gonna be? I think fairies kinda like... I I'm seeing like this kinda mo motion with their hands. This is probably too complex a graphic thing for them to do. But it could also just be like, waving arms. Or like, he he like kind of cute thing with their hands. I'm going with those. Let's see what she's got. Show us the dance. I'm the captain and all, so I've got to come up with a trial. Maybe it could involve painting pictures and picking flowers and holding hands. And <laughs> oh. Nope. <laughs> Maybe a trial like that would be cool. See you later then, Alola, Alola. Damn it, she didn't do a dance. I wanted to see a Ferium dance. We can't let Lily outshine us, partner. Let's move on to Um. So now that we know that's the right way to go, let's go back and let's go check out down south, the non-California way, you know what I mean? Head out down here. What you got for me? Just an item. It's a dusk ball. Uh, and more grassy area and a Zygarde cube. I don't see any conspicuous rocks, but maybe there's something on the end down there. Doesn't look like it. And uh, the grassy knoll there. So let's head back. Man, if I just stepped out there the first time, that would have been so easy to... Uh, to fully explore but I thought there was an item and I thought that would have been the end of it but it just kept going and going and going so we cross another high bridge we'll see whether or not Lily can make it we got a trainer battle here cutting through punk guy Adam got put down he had a Pangoro um, which I love I love Pangoro he's such a cool Pokemon uh, is this the way we're supposed to go or is it trying to be a secret I'm not sure Uh, looks like it's probably the way we're supposed or is it just a shortcut? It's funny that they put these here because I want to explore everything. It's too easy to uh, to miss out on stuff. Oh, yeah, it was. We can't go this way. All right, so it was the way we're supposed to go. Man, repels run out quickly. I have to keep popping these things like candy. I guess you pop candy. I don't really eat that much candy, but uh, I suppose... Were I someone who did eat a lot of candy, you'd pop it, right? Wouldn't we pop it? Why? What's the point of this little thing? Just to avoid that one trainer? All right, I'll avoid a trainer. Full heal over here. 
No items to sniff up. I don't mind avoiding a trainer. There is nothing wrong with that. Uh, we got a we got a down south, and we got trainers up there. Uh, is this a side little sidebar for an item? Looks like it. We'll hop on Machamp. Ah, this is the um, this is the shortcut back to the entrance. So now we've made it full circle. Probably we're at the end of this now. Ooh, Zygarde cube. We got a lot of these things. Off camera a little while ago. Um. When I was just playing on the GTS, catching some Pokemon, I actually um, picked. I found like a, a Zygarde cell that I had passed by earlier, and Cena called and said that I got 50% of them. So that's kind of cool. All right, so we uh, we battled through two trainers there, and uh, Biggie Mac is now evolving, so we get to see what Hakamo all becomes. <laughs> This is literally what I live for. I, I, w I will die as soon as possible. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I won't. Como -o. oh my god, he's so beast. Look at him with the feathers. And after that recent discovery on the news that dinosaurs had feathers, because that piece of amber that's like that showed that there were clearly preserved feathers on like a tailbone of a dinosaur or something like that. That's crazy, huh? So como o. Jang, Jang Mo O, Haka Mo O, and Ko Mo O. Is he still fighting dragon? Yes. Five foot three hundred seventy-two pounds. Damn! Calm down, Ko Mo O. Love it. I have a profound love for this Pokemon. Oh yes, new move. Clanging scales. It's like a sound-based move. It's a dragon move. 110 power. Holy shoot. The user rubs the scales on its entire body and makes a huge noise to attack the opposing Pokemon. The defense stat goes... The user's defense stat goes down. Okay. That makes sense because 110 power, 100 accuracy is pretty powerful. Another high power special... Um, dragon type move. So, no, we're not going to give up. That's a crazy good move. Looking at his stats, high defense, high special defense. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Guys, okay, so before this generation ever came out, I was just talking with the GBA people, and one of the things I said is that I'm, I'm disappointed because there's not enough defensive fighting types. Fighting is a very great defensive typing, but they're just, it just isn't there just aren't enough of them. But it's looking like this guy's got some pretty beastly defenses. 124 and 121. So they're probably the same stat. I just have variations in my IVs and and EVs. But dang, so maybe Biggie Mac was appropriate. This thing is kind of a defensive beast. I'll have to look up what his, uh, what his IVs are later. Uh, it looks like we got one more trainer. This episode, uh, my recording is going on an hour now, and I know it's not going to be that long when I've edited out all the battles, because there's a lot of them, but... Oh god, four in this battle, too. Alright, let's cut through this. Okay, that trainer's down. Let's head into this cave. Cutscene. Ha! Ha! Sorry, I'm not very good at running. Phew. Looks like we are nearly at the altar now, aren't we, Geo? Let me take care of Primarina for you. Man, they really do heal your Pokemon a lot in this game. Even if you're doing like a no po no PMC challenge, there's a lot of times that you can uh, you can get healed up. Is there a trial in the Vast Pony Canyon? Zerm. This whole place is kind of a trial, though. Faint letters can just barely be made out, carved into the ancient stone monument. Ahead lies a sacred ground of trials. None who do not take part in its trials will be allowed to walk upon this earth. What? So no one that doesn't. So that's a double negative. So anyone that... What? 
Those lacking the courage to defeat the totem guarding this land will be denied entry, but those who believe in their Pokemon and walk beside them shall gain great power. There's no captain to be found, but it seems like you stand at the edge of a trial site. Are you ready to challenge the trial? Yeah. Trial start! What's up with this Vasconi? Yeah, I didn't read it fast enough. Oh well. You feel a piercing gaze that seems to cut right through you, but from where? You know what, though? For real? Earlier, that thing... I haven't seen it yet, but when I edit this episode, I'm gonna kind of review. There was something in the background looking at us. So Jang Mo'o. So I guess we're gonna fight probably against a Kamo'o as the... as the totem leader, champion. Boss man. Unfortunately for him, uh, dragon fighting, much like dark fighting, uh, which is both very good offensive dual typing, um, uh, are very, very weak to fairy. And I have a fairy, so. Y you know. They both, they gonna get hurt. We got another flying on in. Hit him from the right. That's a katya. This is a uh, uh, Han ha, Hakama. Oh, yeah, that's the one. And then we'll finish this with a Komo. -o. And he's gonna get his boosts. Started off they were just getting like a defense boost and then it like got to be a more useful stat like a speed boost and then it was just like your everything boost. So we're up to the trial. Take the Z crystal. But we're gonna fight a Kamo'o first, it looks like. Oh damn! Oh damn. Como, como, como. Oh! Come, it's like a Kamehameha. But like. Oh. Mo. Oh. What's the stat boost he got? What he got? It's stats. All of them. That's fine. Not to trivialize this, but I am a higher level than you, and you are about to... Ooh, he outsped me, and he's going to hit me with that Sky Uppercut resisted, and you're going to get taken out by a four times super effective Moon Blast. Unless your stats are, like, ridiculously boosted, which they aren't. You do go down. I don't even see what you summon. That's unfortunate. I kind of trivialized that a little bit. Maybe I should use a different Pokemon. Or maybe not, because we already, we've already seen it. If it was, like, a cool Pokemon we've never seen before... You know, Kamo hid itself somewhere in the deepest reaches of the valley. Good. And now we get a new Z crystal. Dragon? I think we have fighting already, don't we? And the trial. Complete. That was a pretty vast canyon. That was. It is a dragon type. You cleared another trial, but the real trial will still be pushing on beyond this point i think we got a little anything hiding in here huh you got a little uh dog nose sniff it out hmm? all right so we got another z crystal we completed a trial there's a creepy little ooh altar of the moon didn't we didn't we go here ah <laughs> sorry guys that's uh that's mr phone uh, Geo. Look at how, like, I'd work so hard to go through these difficult trials and then people just waltz around like they own the place. Hey, this is no problem at all. Kind of like, I don't know if you guys remember, Red and Blue, or pretty much any of the, any of the games, you beat the Elite Four and you're like, I did it. I've walked through the halls that no man has ever walked. And then Professor Oak walks up, he's like, Hi. Are you a boy or a girl? By the way, congratulations on stepping foot where no man has stepped before. You know, like, I'm the champion. He just waltzes through like, please, no. I'm, a, I'm allowed here. I'm a professor. 
our history tells us that the vast pony canyon trial was the very first trial ever to be held you did a fine job clearing it just as expected geo You've cleared all seven trials of Alola's Island Challenge now. That's wonderful. You've pushed yourself beyond your limits and become a really great trainer, haven't you? And you never could have done it without you, Pre-Marina. Let's heal you up real quick. Dang, so many heals. So many heals. Heal me. <laughs> Look at you two. I think this just might work out. No, I'm quite sure of it. We're going to fall in love. We're going to get married. You guys didn't know this, but what, the post game of this game is just basically The Sims. You living a life of uh, of, of fame and fortune with your with your main B. Uh, the sun flute and the moon flute. If they both if we both sound together, let's go, Geo. Let's get it. Get it. Zoinks! Would you look up at those stairs? If you make it up them all, you'll reach the altar. Uh, is there item? Come on, little dog. No, you know what? Let's just, uh, let's just charge. No, no repels. No repels necessary. Ooh. What do we got? What do we got? Anything? No. You guys hear how ominous this is? You know what? This is too ominous. I need to save. I need to save right now. I can feel the strong power of the moon. Nebby. I'm going to make my mother wake up and see the reason before I send you back to your old world. I'm going to make her hear me. I'm going to tell her how I feel. Even if I'm not a trainer, I can still do that much. The sun flute. It feels like it was made to fit my hand. I think I can play it. Don't play games, girl. Don't you play me. She's going to step on that pedestal. I'm going to step on the other pedestal. We're going to play some flutes. Gio, you should stand over there. Well, anything you say, Lily. I am going to stand over there. On the next episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. That has been the Vast Pony Canyon. On the next episode, we're going to see what happens when we play that flute. That's going to be episode 42 for you guys. As always, my name is Jim Luder Gio. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you guys next time.